Hey guys, Mike Martinez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about three tips on how you can build a massively successful multi-million dollar business with your wife, with your husband, with your spouse, with your best friend. Let's hop right into it. From East LA to the hills of Rancho Cucamonga, I'm going to show you how I went from being broke to being rich. Tip number one, guys, is you want to trust your significant other to carry the load in the business with you. I was always a control freak. Since 2012, when I started my first company, I was always in charge of managing employees, managing you know the business in general. And it was hard for me to trust somebody else to really take control of any department or any other aspect of the business, whether it be managing employees, accounting, just any little tedious, insignificant job, I always had to have control of it. I had to learn how to let go of the reins. So when my wife jumped into our business in 2020, it was my real estate company, it wasn't my debt collection agencies, but my office was located inside of my collection companies. So she got to see firsthand something that she had never seen before in the eight years that I had already been in business. She never really got to experience what it was like in the day-to-day -day operation. So once I brought her into a real estate company and we started working on real estate deals together, even in that business, it was hard for me to let go of the reins. She would be in charge of, and she still is, she's great at it by the way, she's in charge of selling our deals. So we get deals under contract at a cheap price and then we resell them either on the retail MLS market or to another investor or to a hedge fund, financial institutional buyers. So she started seeing throughout the day-to-day -day operations what it was like for me to also manage my debt collection companies. And she started giving her input in that business as well. It was difficult for me to trust that her input was valuable and would actually work and help our business scale, be more successful, and overall just be a stronger company. So little by little, I started noticing that she was right. She was right. Now, we have a joke between her and I and saying, you know, she's always right, I'm always wrong, and I try to prove her wrong by saying, well, 99% of the time you're right. So it's becoming more and more true, and it's becoming more and more realistic. So what I've learned to do as a businessman is I've learned to trust her instincts, I've learned to value her opinion, and I've learned to give her opinion and her input an opportunity. And since I've done that, it's helped me dramatically. In the last couple of years alone, just since she's entered the business, I became a multimillionaire. Call it coincidence or call it a woman's touch to the business overall. Whatever it is, it's helped me and I'm sure it can help you too. Tip number two would be to trust their strengths and trust their input and trust that it's going to work. So she's always given her input and most of the time I was stubborn in the previous eight years that I had been in business before she joined the companies to help me run the companies. I would always assume that because she wasn't heavily involved in the day-to-day -day operations, she probably didn't know what it was like to run these businesses and she probably didn't know what it was like to actually roll them out and get things done. So little by little I started noticing that she actually has a high level of emotional intelligence. She's better at reading people than I am. And she also has some amazing ideas. And if we just give those ideas an opportunity and we trust that she knows what direction she's going with these ideas, that it might just benefit the company. So as I started little by little to just let go of the reins and roll out some of these ideas that she had, which were phenomenal for business, by the way, we started seeing a lot of success in all of my companies, all three of them. So just trust that, they, that they're bringing something to the table that's worth evaluating and it's worth actually just trying it. Just give it a try and you'll be surprised at the results. Tip number three would be to be very careful not to overwork each other. It can become very exhausting when your spouse or your best friend that you're with most of the day, especially if you work together, is also your business partner. It's very difficult to turn off your, your thought process of business 24 seven. It, it can be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, sometimes even midnight, and we're just in bed watching TV, 
and a random business stock comes to mind and we have to be careful not to drift away and get pulled back right into business at, at, our, at our time when we're supposed to be resting. So little by little we're learning, you know, it's been about two going on three years now. We're learning how to pull away from that, from that cycle where it's seven o'clock and we're having dinner with the kids over pizza and we just start talking about a property that we're working on flipping or we're talking about an issue that we're facing in our debt collection agency or I, I can be talking about an event that's coming up for my skip tracing company. So we wanna be careful to try to separate you know, some of the business in our lives with some of the personal time that we have dedicated to each other, to our kids and to our family. It can be a vicious cycle if you're not careful and you find yourself never getting any rest. So that's one tip, important tip that I would really uh, encourage you to, to be careful with. Don't overwork each other and make sure that you make personal quality time aside from business. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope that you find yourself on an amazing journey with your significant other to success and wealth. If you're ready for more tips like this, if you're ready for more videos that will help your lifestyle with your spouse, business, and just in general well-being for your life and quality of life, make sure that you give me a like, subscribe, follow, and comment. I want to hear about your experience and what you're planning on doing and what business ventures you're, you're ready to take on with your significant other. We'll see you soon. Let's get it.